This is a brief glimpse into the life of one of history's most notorious figures, Adolf Hitler. Don't walk away. Early Life and Family Background Adolf Hitler's early life, from his birth on April 20, 1889, in Braunau MN, Austria, to his childhood in a modest household. We explore his family dynamics, including his relationship with his strict father, Alois, and loving mother, Clara. This period of his life laid the groundwork for the future dictator, with a particular focus on his early education, interests, and dreams of becoming an artist. The Struggles of Youth As a young adult, Hitler faced numerous challenges, including the death of his younger brother, Edmund, and the strained relationship with his father, who passed away when Hitler was just 13. We analyze how these events impacted his personality and contributed to his sense of alienation and resentment. The Aspiring Artist in Vienna Moving to Vienna in 1907, Hitler hoped to attend the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts to pursue his dream of becoming an artist. This chapter explores his time in the vibrant city, his artistic aspirations, and his encounters with anti-Semitic ideologies that would later take root in his worldview. World War I and Transformation With the outbreak of World War I in 1914, Hitler volunteered for the German army. This chapter follows his service as a soldier, his experiences on the front lines, and how the war transformed him both physically and mentally. We also explore how the German defeat in the war affected Hitler's perception of national identity and his subsequent involvement in politics. The Birth of National Socialism Returning to Munich after World War I, Hitler joined the German Workers' Party, later renamed the National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, or Nazi Party. This chapter charts the rise of the Nazi Party and Hitler's leadership within it, as he mesmerized crowds with his charismatic speeches and began to articulate his dangerous and divisive vision for Germany. The Path to Chancellorship the 1930s saw a deepening economic crisis and political instability in Germany. This chapter explores Hitler's strategic political maneuvering and then Stapp's growing popularity. We analyze the factors that allowed him to be appointed Chancellor of Germany in January 1933, despite the Nazis not having an absolute majority in the Reichstag. The Consolidation of Power with Hitler as Chancellor, he quickly moved to dismantle democratic institutions and consolidate power. This chapter examines the Reichstag fire, the passage of the Enabling Act, and the Reichstag elections, which cemented Hitler's control over Germany. It also highlights the suppression of political opponents and the establishment of a totalitarian regime. Propaganda and the Cult of Personality Hitler's regime skillfully used propaganda and mass media to shape public opinion and create a cult of personality around the Fuhrer. This chapter delves into the techniques employed by Joseph Goebbels, the Minister of Propaganda, to manipulate the German population and build unwavering loyalty to Hitler. World War II and Military Strategies with Germany rearming and expanding, Hitler pursued an aggressive foreign policy, leading to the outbreak of World War II in September 1939. This chapter examines Hitler's military strategies, his successes and failures in the early stages of the war, and the turning points that led to the eventual downfall of the Axis powers. Defeat and Downfall as the war turned against Germany, Hitler's health declined, and his decision-making became increasingly erratic. This chapter follows the Allied advances and the devastation caused by the war. It also explores the events leading up to Hitler's last days in the Führer bunker in Berlin, where he ultimately took his own life. Friedrich. 